Good afternoon, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Switch again, back for your second video blog of the day for September 26, 2014, Friday afternoon around 5.40 p.m. in Berwick, Massachusetts. Nice and sunny day, highs in the mid-70s. Tomorrow, we're going to be over 80. That's good for fall-like temperatures, and some of the leaves are falling down. Some news to report, the Arizona Diamondbacks have fired their manager, Kirk Gibson. The Diamondbacks are going to have the worst record in Major League Baseball this year, and also this is the final weekend of the Major League Baseball season, regular season 2014, and there's some good games tonight. Yankees Red Sox to close out the season, and these are the final three days of Derek Jeter's career. And that's about it on the news. And my next subject is about question two on the 2014 Massachusetts state ballot. Question two is about expanding the beverage container deposit law. Massachusetts is one of 11 states where you could have a um, that use the bottle bill where you, there's a five cent deposit for every um, soda and beer can you buy. And you could get the refund if you go to a lot of like redemption centers across the state and stuff and they want to expand it to include water, iced tea, sports drinks, etc. because of because of a lot of these non we bottled deposit um bottles are found everywhere in the litter, then landfills, then in the beach, the playground, streets, etc. And they want to have to clean up this because it's costing a lot of litter and it's costing a lot of money. And many towns and cities across the state have, has, have supported this expanded bottle bill, including former Governor um, Mitt Romney and current Governor of Massachusetts, Deval Patrick, and a, a lot of business leaders and independent groups such as the League of Women Voters, Mass Spring, Sierra Club, and hundreds more. And they want these bottles to be recycled out of like water, tea, sports drinks, etc. They want to put the five cent deposit on it. And the Massachusetts voters will vote on this election day. A yes vote will mean the five cent deposit will be taken to effect of all other stuff with like water, tea, um, sports drinks, etc. on April 22nd, 2015. And there's a, a thing that every five years will be adjusted and it will not go below five cents. It probably probably go up every five years, maybe to 10 cents in 2020. Um, 15 cents in 2025 etc if it gets um passed but there's proponents there's there's people against it a lot of people are against this because it's going to cost the state 60 million dollars a year in curbside programs for recycling and it's to say it's going to waste taxpayers dollars on a on a on a system that's kind of broke for th and also, they, they don't want to have the nickel deposit raised every five years without the vote. And they say a lot of this money, if you throw away the bottles, they're, they're the, every year that there's $30 million a year that's being kind of wasted in nickels. It's not going to environmental projects. It's going to the, a fund for the, the Massachusetts politicians and stuff like that. And other stuff they say some of these small businesses is might cannot handle a lot of more redemption of like the the proposed with water tea bottled um sports drinks etc they'd be saying that they couldn't handle so much volume if this if the five cent deposit was expanded to these bottled stuff and other people are saying it's just another way for the state to get money they say it's kind of another tax and this is going to be a very interesting question if it's going to go yes or no and my opinion on this i think even though i would like to see this the bottle bill expanded to include water tea and sports drinks 
etc. It's probably not going to be voted to be expanded. I think people are going to just vote no on it because it, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's a, it's a kind of another tax, in my opinion, even though it would be, it would be a great idea for it to be expanded. But a lot of people think it's just another tax and stuff. I recycle these like wad the things that are non-refundable in, in my recycling bin. And that's the way I do. I never throw these stuff out because everything that's recyclable, I just recycle. And and I think question two is not gonna pass, in my opinion. I just don't think it will. I think it's just gonna be voted down because the people don't want to have like another tax in the state of Massachusetts. This is like this is like a tax, in my opinion. Well, that's about it on that. I'll be back later for my third and final video blog of the night, which will be about Bruins legend Dip Dit Kapler. And don't forget, Facebook friends and YouTube followers, I will be I will be like like to take your feedback and suggestions and and shout outs if you want anything said on these video blogs and and stuff. PM me and I'll see what I could do about it. Have a good day, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. See you tonight.